Okay, you know what? I'm gonna freaking shoot you. And of course, the cops wearing 19th century uh, bulletproof vests because everyone had those back then. You know what's amazing? I'm the one with the gun. They just have like a nightstick. You know, Daniel, you, you are a model citizen. You're just taking the beating like it's like a nothing. Uh, where is that room? There is a little door that the spiv is in it along with... There it is! And more importantly, this. Man, I'm just trying to find a lady that's probably dead by now. How hard is this? Don't you notice that this city's the only one that hasn't been completely destroyed yet by zombies? Like, Kensington was a freaking wreck. Greenwich was overrun by, uh, freaking sailors. But, you know, Whitechapel? Doing pretty great, doing pretty great. It's like, it's like that, uh, like the safe spot in the infection zone for all zombies. Like, in, uh, 28 days later. Ah, oh, crap. It's like the and I need the chalice. Did I get it yet? No, I didn't. Sorry for running off the track there, but I really needed that health, which I'm probably going to burn through in about five minutes, so I don't know why I'm doing that. There's the chalice. Always forget it, because it's like cramped in the back alley. Dan, just run. Because these cops apparently have the attention span of like a mouse or something. Hmm, I wonder if she's in here. Nah, that's probably stu that's stupid. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's in here? Now this is one of the odder things in the, in the in the entire game. You get a new weapon in a house, in a level. A flaming crossbow nonetheless. I guess they decided they wouldn't throw this in the game, but they had, didn't have enough levels, or instead of designing a new level, uh, you know, making the gameplay even better, because that's insane, they decided just to make it in a game, which no other level in any of medieval games has a, has a weapon in it. Like, not a permanent weapon. Like, Medieval 1, you had the club. But that wasn't a permanent weapon. Either. It is pretty handy, though. Because you got the added bonus of burning zombies to death. This game likes to cover the basis, you know. Alright, so when this is a bod guy was buried, he, he gave explicit instructions to have a color-coded projection lock on his tomb just in case someone needs to open up a unicorn shield which they would need to open his tomb. So in case anyone wants to grave rob this guy, that's why he made that little uh, that little trap there. Alright, so this guy was apparently really into unicorns and griffins. I don't know, man. I'm not going to go into it here. Uh, well, Jack the Ripper comes around the corner. I can freaking blow him away with a flaming crossbow, so... I'm awesome, yeah, yeah, you guys, we have the technology to make perpetually burning crossbows, and you guys can't even catch a serial killer. I mean, it's not like he's a monster or anything, that'd be stupid. Alright. You know, you, you guys could follow me up here, you know, take out the whole zombie threat, but no. No, you just, just want to peruse around the city, just twiddling your nightsticks. <laughs> okay, not the way I thought that, um, Weirdly locked to him system, but okay. And of course, apparently White Travel was uh, victims of overcrowding because every single guy that ever died was put in this one tomb. What the heck was that? Sounded like he said no, but like bubbling in underwater. Why do you even care that I'm killing these guys as a mod, really? Are these, like, all your family members? If so, I gotta ask a question or two. Alright, here we go. You know, there's a glitch in this game. If Dan gets even close to someone, he can't kill them. Zombies really aren't important. I already got the shells. Where's that Isabod idiot? There he is. And they decided to make his jacket a slightly darker red than everyone else. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll make it easier to see him. Really? Yeah, screw it, man. I got four life bottles. You're gonna die. Come on, come on. Want some flaming crossbow? Yeah, go on and kill me, man. Look at this guy. 
And I, oh, wow, I put the crossbow away and all the bolts just disappeared. Yeah. Thank you. Man, that took forever. Okay, so what do I get? Like, uh, his money or his, his beard? My. Wow, how did that work? Did Dan just rip his beard off the guy's corpse? What? How did that work? I mean, it would have been easier just to go to a costume shop or make a fake beard out of cray paper or something. Why did you have to go into the trouble of breaking in the guy's tomb and tearing off his facial hair? That doesn't even make any sense. How do you even get that to stick to you? I'm not... Okay. Whatever. Good evening, Wow, well, a one-eyed skeleton wearing a fake beard. Yeah, this guy is just obviously the real Isabon, yeah. Wow, yeah, this place looks really lively. I can see why I had to go through all the trouble of getting in here. Oh, man. Good stranger. Oh. You look for the Egyptian one. This game got more interesting. She was there. Aside from the fact that your sword is blocking her face. Oh, no, that's not the only part I need to, to see, it. though. I'll try to stop her, but she's a headstrong girl. What am girl. I getting? I'm getting up. If she means anything uh, to you, okay. you better find her before it's too late. Quick, hurry to the clock tower. Mm -hmm. But before you go, fortify yourself with Yeah, it. I don't think this kind of uh, person needs to be uh, personalized in uh, PS1 graphics. Kind of before it's time, but... Uh... Alright, well, let's go save Kia from getting killed. Didn't expect that! Oh, what? Now you decide not to kill me. Tell you what, uh, I know where Jack the Ripper is. How come you go and help me kill him? No. You cops are... Whatever. Oh, boy. Alright, well... Let's go see this here. Oh, she was in here. What a surprise. Alright, let's go do this. Wolverines! No, I never saw this coming! <laughs> you know, Dan, taking out your lightning and killing the guy would help now, but no. Okay, whatever. You just saved us an entire pointless time travel plot, but whatever. Yeah, if you'd like to go. No! The person I've only known for two hours is so crushing! Dan does not need to have an emotion. He's a skeleton. You know how simple the first game was? Dan shows up, and he kills people. That's it. He kills zombies. He didn't need a love interest. He didn't need it, anything. All he wanted to do was prove to a hall of heroes that he was a hero. He didn't need a girlfriend. He didn't need any kind of emotion other than pride and anger. And they changed that in the second one. I don't know why. But it does result in this kind of humorous cutscene. Come on, let's watch. I warn you, what you're about to see, uh, Dan, we've never seen Dan look like this before, so it gets kind of shocking, so, uh, input your immense dramatic music! Well, did you find her? Uh, kinda. Parts of her. Jesus! Oh, no. Oh, no, she's dead and it's... It's all my fault. Yes, it I'll is. Never be able to Maybe right. I should take you up on that offer about shooting you between the eyes. Anyway, I'm picking up some bizarre signals from the cathedral. <laughs> Let's investigate. No, not me. Not quick. Oh, no, dear. God. That's just what he wants. If we give up now, all of London will be his. And with London, the rest of the Empire will follow. You can do it, young Skywalker. I don't care. Dan! Dan! No, don't go in the limb room and get killed again, man. That's stupid. Why would you want to go... Oh, the sewers. Okay. So I guess he just walked right past the limb room with the crazy spiders. You know, that would be kind of funny if Dan was, like, walking through, like, the limb creatures and the limb creatures tried to attack him and he was, like, all sad and, like, depressed and the limb creatures just backed off and said, jeez, he must have had a hard time. <laughs> all right, well, this levels do kind of run together, so, um... The sewers. Let us begin. But first, let's get our weapon. I deserve something for witnessing my girlfriend's death. Ooh, a blunderbuss. Oh, right, Dan, you've come. Ah, finally, Dan gets a shotgun. If I was you, 